Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will be presenting you with Getflix, which is a Australian based company uh, which provides uh, smart DNS and VPN solutions. Uh, as you can see this is the website. I've already um, made an account and I have a subscription. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna tell you how you can easily set up your uh, DNS um, uh, how to set up your DNS uh, address. So uh, there, are two, there are two options to configure your smart DNS. Uh, the first is to update the DNS settings for your entire network by changing the DNS address settings on your router. Um, this option will ensure that any device which is connected to the same router will be able to access unblocked sites. And uh, the, second, um, the second option includes uh, updating the DNS settings on individual device that you wish uh, to use for unblocking. That means that you will be able to visit the streaming services on the blocked websites only from the individual device that you have set up. Uh, there's an alternative way for connecting with Getflex by also using a VPN. Uh, this option will, generally speaking, will allow you to use the DNS servers in situations where it wouldn't normally be possible. Such as, you're, for example, you're located in a hotel room or you're using a public Wi-Fi, mobile data connections and uh, ICPs that block third-party DNS uh, servers. Uh, there's another thing that I want to tell you about and these are the regions. <clears throat> For example, you can select the Netflix region to use. Um, if you select for Australia, for example, Netflix will offer you around maybe 1000 movies. But if you select the Netflix for the US, you can be able to watch more than 15,000 movies. So that could be pretty usable as well. And it doesn't apply only for Netflix, but you can set it up for Amazon Prime, Krakow, uh, and, and, and many more, as you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the basic uh, steps for setting up the DNS address uh, using a single device. Since I'm running Windows 7 on a PC, I need to I need to locate the uh, the local area connection. There are two pretty easy ways to do it. The first is by clicking right here, and then connections local area connection. Or the second way is by going to Start Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center, local area connection. Properties, Internet Protocol version 4, Properties, and here is where you can set up your DNS address that the site gives you. Since I already did that, um, I can show you right away that I won't have any problems by opening uh, the streaming sites. Um, let's give it a try. Netflix. Oops. That's a little mistake. There it is. Um, let's also try with Pandora, for example. There it is. I can access with without any problem, but I have to re I have to register, which I obviously didn't do yet. And then we can try to to watch video, for example, bbc.co.uk iPlayer. We're just gonna try to open some, uh, something random just to see that everything's working. Supernatural murder mystery. Okay, let's see that. Uh, also, it's important to note that during the video streams, uh, you won't have any video delays or s uh, slower loading. It, the, DNS address, uh, the DNS address doesn't um, uh, doesn't reflect uh, to that. As you can see, it's it's working pretty good. I can I can skip forward. 
no problems at all. Okay, so let me just get back to the main page. So this is the site. Um, feel free to click on the link below this video to check if there are any uh, current promotions as the site uh, do release uh, free trials and uh, free access. Other than that, you can always uh, subscribe for a, uh, for a small uh, monthly fee. And uh, I think that's pretty much that's it. Okay, thanks for watching.